Good morning. So I've been thinking a lot about uh, this one passage where Jesus tells a man named Nicodemus that uh, you must be born again. And Nicodemus doesn't understand it. He says, what, do I need to crawl back in my mother's womb and be birthed a second time? Jesus wasn't really talking about that. This is my son. Uh, he was born a little under two weeks ago. Um, He's so precious. And sometimes I just like to look at him. Uh, he is so small. His fingers are so tiny. And when he was born, uh, he had these amazing abilities and reflexes that God gave him. Like I didn't have to teach him how to breathe. Can you imagine trying to teach a baby who can't talk how to do all those things? He, he can blink, he can swallow, he can do all these things, but also there's a lot of things he can't do. Like he can't walk, he can't talk. I mean, he can't even hold his head up. So really without my wife and I, he's pretty helpless. And so why do I bring this up? Because Jesus said that you must be born again to enter the kingdom of heaven. And so that means that whenever you give your life to Christ, you're a new creation. The Bible actually says it that way. It says in 2 Corinthians 5 that uh, for anyone who is in Christ, he is a new creation. Behold, the old is gone and the new has come. So if you've just started your walk with Jesus, you're like Noah here. You're brand new. The old is gone, the new has come. Your spirit is like this. And in a lot of ways, you're kind of helpless just like Noah. So I want to talk a little bit about the things you can do as an infant in Christ. And so there's there's a powerful verse in 1 Peter 2, and it goes like this. Get my Bible app out. Of course, I'm not in the right place, but here it is. So put away all malice and all deceit and hypocrisy and envy and all slander. Like newborn infants long for the pure spiritual milk, that by it you may grow up into salvation, if indeed you have tasted that the Lord is good. So to boil that down, um, Peter says, do three things. Go poop, drink milk, grow up. You're like, what? Grow go poop? Where was that in that verse? He says at the beginning to put away all the things that you don't need anymore. And Noah, when he doesn't need all that stuff in his body, guess what he does? He dirties his diaper. He gets rid of it. Um, so get rid of all the things in your life that you don't need. Um, like malice and envy and, and hatred and, and hypocrisy and, and lying. And just start to get rid of those things because you don't need them. Start weeding out the things in your life that you don't need. Um, that, that aren't beneficial to your walk with Jesus. Um, and number two, drink milk, okay? Um, how do you drink milk? There's this great uh, resource that our church has uh, called Right Now Media. You can download it. It's like Netflix for Bible studies. We've actually been using them uh, for these uh, student-led Bible studies. And anybody that goes to one of our Bible studies or North Road or is connected to us can actually get a free login. So I suggest you go there and just be fed by somebody else. Noah needs to be fed by uh, my, my wife and I, um, more so my wife, because, you know, I don't produce. So go to Right Now Media and get fed by great teachers, um, people that understand the scriptures way better than you do. Also, you can download the YouVersion Bible app on your phone, um, and if you choose one of several uh, of the translations, it will read to you. As you come to him. A living stone rejected by men. It's awesome. But in the sight of God. Don't worry about trying to understand the Bible right now. Okay? Just drink it in. Just set up a habit of uh, reading the Bible or having it read to you. You know, I would never expect my son to eat steak. No, he needs milk. And if you're beginning your walk with Jesus, you need milk.
And the last thing I suggest you do is find friends that are going to carry you. Find Christian friends. Um, and not saying that you can't have friends that aren't believers, uh, but make sure that your closest friends are believers because they're going to take you, they're going to feed you the proper stuff that a Christian needs. So that's how you drink milk. So go poop, drink milk, and grow up. We're going to talk about growing up next week. But lastly, I'd like to address those of you that are maybe a little older and, and you're like my daughter, Annabelle. Uh, you can feed yourself. Um, you understand how to pray. You understand uh, the basics of Christianity. Uh, here's what I would challenge you. Um, find somebody that's an infant in their walk and carry them. Feed them, right? Because how weird would it be is if in the middle of the night, my wife uh, hears my son crying for milk and my wife says, it's in the fridge, help yourself. That'd be really ridiculous, wouldn't it? So why do we do that sometimes with younger believers? So I challenge those of you that are a little older in your faith, find somebody and begin to carry them to Jesus. You like coffee? You want some coffee? No. That would be horrible.